guys, hi, it's Brielle. So if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. Thanks for joining. We're gonna be doing a natural everyday skin focus look today. I'm super excited because I've gotten this request a couple of times. This is something that I think is totally wearable for going to work, going to school. If you're on like a time limit where in the, especially in the morning if you're going to school, if you only have like 20 or so minutes, if that, this is really gonna be a good video for you to watch all the way through because when you think of natural like perfect skin you really want your skin to look like it's not only just like flawless but you want it to look like it's fresh it's healthy like you have glowing skin without you know that over excessive highlight so i'm definitely going to be showing you how i get from my skin and even though yes i do have some acne you can see it right here i'm going to show you guys how to cover that up and still have that nice fresh glowing natural looking perfect skin by the way ignore my hair because i did just get out of the shower this is kind of going to be like a get ready with me because um, my hair is naturally curly, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing right now. So don't don't mind it if it starts like you know curling up. So a lot of people's problems when they do their makeup is if they're very oily, they have a, tr a problem with controlling the oil. Now I've talked about this before. This is Lush Cosmetics Grease Lightning. So literally, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna do two pumps on my finger, and I'm just going to put it over where I have my problem areas with grease. So I do get oily in my T-zone, but I also have an unnatural like oil control because I get it on my cheeks as well, which isn't really where you're supposed to get oil. Your T-zone is really supposed to be the only place that gets oily. Well, I just went like this. That was an upside down T, but <laughs> your T-zone is there. So yeah, I'm literally just taking grease lightning. I'm putting it in my T-zone. Super easy. It really just soaks up the oil for the rest of the day. Totally affordable. I'll make sure that I have all the products listed down below with price ranges if you want to go out and see if you like them. I'm telling you though, I do very much swear by Grease Lightning. You really want your face to look fresh when you have natural makeup. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm taking Max Strobe Liquid Lotion. Now this is the original color, so it does have some pink in it, which I like because I already have pink undertones. But if you do not, like if you're more golden, they do have other options for you in different colors. And the reason why we're using this is because... It does have a really nice sheen to it. It really has like a nice natural glow that layers really nice underneath the foundation. And then, and like again, like like I said, this really just not adds like a nice glow to your skin. It's very natural. It's not too intense. Instead of doing highlighter, we're really just going to be doing stuff like this. So next, we're going to be taking NYX's Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is in the shade Sunbeam. This is also pink. I know that they have gold ones. Um, and we're just going to put a little bit on our fingers and we're going to be dabbing it right into our skin right here. You can take your beauty blender as well and just kind of pat it into the skin. And the reason why we're doing this before we put on our foundation is because we, again, want our skin to look natural. I, I don't really know if you guys can see on the camera, but there is a highlight to this. So it looks very pretty underneath the foundation. Because I do have red pigmentation, I'm taking Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer. This is the color correcting one, it's green. And green always cancels out redness. And I'm just gonna be going over my cheeks a little bit because that's really where I have my redness at. And that strobe liquid illuminator, that can really be used as a primer. So you don't need to do this extra step. I just have red pigmentation, so I'm just trying to cover that up as much as I can. If your skin is a little bit more dry, because I am oily, so I don't have that problem with dry skin, taking the extra steps just to moisturize a little bit more before we start going into your actual makeup application is really important because the only way to have a flawless base is to have very nice moisturized skin. That's the best way for your foundation to go on your skin. My neighbor is walking past my window and literally staring at me like, hi. All right, so now that our face is primed and ready for the actual makeup application, I'm gonna be taking NYX's Green Color Correcting Concealer. This is what I use to cancel out any redness of my acne. Now this won't cover up my actual acne. That's what concealer is for. But this really is just gonna cancel out the redness of the acne and then blend this into the skin. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna conceal them. 
Alright, so now I'm going to be taking my favorite concealer right now, which is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is so awesome, not only for just underneath of your eyes, but also for any acne that you have because of the formula and the thickness of the concealer. It really is awesome for concealing like blemishes or any other things. I, it, cover up, it covers up my acne scars really well. I just really like it. Because it's so thick and creamy, you don't really need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm just going to be putting this with a concealer brush over my problem areas. And then I'm also going to be putting it underneath my eyes because I do have blueness underneath of my eyes. We're just going to be blending this right into our face. And really you want to push the concealer with the beauty blender into your skin because you really want to have that natural finish. And when you press it into the skin with the beauty blender, you get more of a skin-like finish. You also really want to make sure that your beauty blender is damp when you do this. For a foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. And I just got this, and I haven't really applied a full face of it, so I'm going to be kind of doing a little bit of a test and trial review on camera right now. This is in the shade 115. I believe that the color is actually ivory. I don't know, it doesn't say on the packaging. I'm actually really excited because this is my first like luxury brand foundation. So now I'm gonna be taking a stippling brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna be spraying it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to be buffing this into my skin. So now I'm going to be taking my beauty blender again and I'm just going to be patting this all over my face just to pick up any excess foundation that might be left over. I really like how this foundation feels because it feels really lightweight. It doesn't really feel like sticky or anything like that, which is what I am was really afraid of with this foundation because it's a stick. I didn't want it to feel like greasy or anything. And the coverage of this looks really, really nice. Now you don't really need to do this extra step probably if you already have a really nice base going on but I do really have dark under eyes so I'm going to be going in with my Naked Urban Decay Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral and I'm just going to be placing that underneath my eye not really to highlight but really just to conceal. Alright so now we're going to set our under eye and the rest of our face. I'm going to be taking Ben Nye's Colorless Powder. And I'm going to be pressing that into my under eye area. I'm also going to be putting this around my lips because I get smile lines. And the reason why we set our makeup is to prevent any creasing in our foundation. I'm also going to be taking a little bit and setting my forehead because I do have lines on my forehead. And then I'm just going to be taking a little bit more of that powder. And... In a baking effect let it sit underneath my eyes a little bit longer I'm gonna be taking Maybelline's fit me powder this is in the shade 110 porcelain and I'm just going to be running my brush over my skin to set my foundation and everything that you do on your face you should also be doing on your neck now I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Promise Ring Blush. This is for super fair skin. As you can see, like literally this is like probably the lightest blush that I think that they have. I'm just going to be tapping that right into the blush and applying it right into the apples of my cheeks. And you really want to make sure that it's blended into your contour. Now I'm just going to be carving out my cheekbones because even though we want to have a natural base, we still want to have a sharp contour line. Brush away the powder underneath my eyes. And now we're going to move right onto the brows. Now we don't want a super defined brow. This is supposed to be natural. So I'm going to comb through my brows. And sometimes when I'm in a really big rush, I'll literally just run some clear brow gel through them. I won't even fill them in. Using Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz, this is really going to give me that natural finish that I want for my brows. This is in the shade Granite. I'm 
just gonna be concealing underneath my brow and you really don't want to have like a floating brow so you want to use a concealer that's going to be the same color as you are and then I'm going to be doing the same to the top part of my brow honestly you could use like a foundation that's your shade and use that to conceal your brows as well all right so now that we have a really natural brow going on I'm just going to set it with a clear brow gel this is the Anastasia one and I always brush my front hairs upwards because I like the front to look like a little wispy. So there really isn't a huge difference between the brows. I just extended the tail a little bit and everything is filled in so it doesn't look so sparse. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the other eyebrow. Alright, so now that both of the brows are done, I'm using this as like, hey, look at my brows. And I really just like to buff this into the skin, not really dust it away. I'm going to be taking that colorless powder by Ben Nye again, and I'm just going to be putting that on my eyelid, and this is just going to set the foundation that I had put on it earlier. And this is a really good alternative than an expensive primer, doing a foundation or concealer on your lid and then just setting it. Now to add a little bit more dimension back into the nose, I'm going to be taking this powder and just lining the straight of where my nose is. And you really want to make sure that this is blended and then take a little bit into the hollow of your eye. Now for the lips, I'm just going to be getting rid of any foundation on my lips. And I'm going to be lining my lips with Whipped Caviar. This is a NYX Suede Lip Liner. And this is skin color, so this is going to be really good for that natural um, lip finish. And I'm not really going to be overlining my lips. I'm just lining my actual lips. And I'll normally do my lips with either a lip gloss or a clear lip gloss, but I'm using, this is NYX's Intense Butter Glosses. I love these. These are super cheap, super affordable. This is in the shade Apple Dumpling. I almost just said cheap dumpling. Alright, so now that our lips are done, I'm going to go on and I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm probably not going to be wearing false lashes. You could wear false lashes if you don't have naturally long lashes. This is Benefits Roller Lash Mascara, my favorite mascara ever. Oh my god, I'm going to buy 30 million of these. I have not found a mascara that does the job that this one does. I always really like to layer my mascara and every time I do that, it always gets clumpy with other mascaras or my eyelashes look like spidery and I hate that. Oh my god, it kills me. This mascara really keeps your eyelashes separated and super straight and I love it. Like look at these, that's like one coat. Like that looks perfect. And like I said, I like to go in and do at least two coats. And then I'm gonna go on and do some bottom lashes as well. And I'll do two coats on the bottom too. And then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Dark Side Eyeliner and I'm just gonna be lining the upper part of my waterline. I won't go all the way down. I'll usually go about like three quarters of the way. So of course, then we're gonna set our makeup. I'm using Smashbox's Photo Finish Primer Water. Oh my god, it's gone. I'm really upset. I need to buy a new one. And yeah, that's basically the finished look. I mean, this looks pretty natural. It really doesn't even look like my eyebrows are done. My skin doesn't really have a lot of makeup on it. it well, at least it looks like that because y'all just watched me put on a full face of makeup. But 
You could really just change up the lip. You could always do a clear lip gloss. You could put some freaking chapstick on and that would work perfectly fine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. And yeah, your support means so much to me. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video.